Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my tips and tricks on Project Polish. I've been doing Project Polish since last year. I think I started in March. I've learned quite a bit in this last 10 months or so, and I thought I would share with you guys what has worked for me and what has helped me go through polishes without me wanting to throw them out the window. So I have everything listed right here and let's talk about them. So the first thing for me that worked was painting my nails on a regular basis. Prior to doing Project Polish, I was painting my nails every single day and I continued doing that while doing my pro well, while working on my project. My project slowed down quite a bit towards the, you know, the last quarter of the year because I wasn't painting my nails as often. I didn't have the time available so I was st still trying to paint my nails two to three times a week not on an everyday basis so it d does slow down the project but you continue working on them as opposed to you painting your nails once a week that's two coats you're applying of one polish once a week if you do it that way it's gonna take a long time so just do it as many times as you your time allots the same thing includes for your pedicure I think prior to project polish I was painting my toes twice <laughs> once a uh, once a month uh, twice a month or something like that and it, I pushed myself to try to do my petty every se once a week at least. Next one is to pair polishes together uh, whether within your project or pull polishes from your collection. It actually made me think outside the box as well and pairing things together to make my manicure look a little bit more interesting. For instance, uh, right now I have on Cauldron from Jessie's Girl. I've been using it a lot um, ingredients so I did pair it with a couple other project polishes and it gave me completely different looks when I was pairing it up with other ones but I decided to pull in a different polish that's not in my project which is Mother of Pearl from Salon Perfect so I'll show you a close-up here this is cauldron and you wouldn't even think that it was this polish right here so i used cauldron as my base i did two coats of cauldron and this is an iridescent glitter that gives you kind of a shifting effect on your nails which is really nice i've also used this with gradients so that goes into you know another another tip here pair polishes together and use them for nail art i did a ton of gradients and gradients i'm telling you is the way to go if you're trying to maybe you're getting tired of a polish and you really don't want to deal with it anymore maybe it's gotten a little bit thicker and it's taking too long to dry if you do two coats using them as gradients the sponges will suck up a lot of the polish but it'll allow you to maybe apply a thinner layer on your nails give you super cool and interesting look I'll pop pictures here and there as I'm talking in this video and it's not gonna take forever to dry because when you sponge it on it adds only a very thin layer but you're getting use out of your polishes you're still enjoying the manicure you're getting a really cool cool look on your nails which is really awesome so I discovered gradients in this last year and I enjoyed doing it and I finished up a lot of my polishes especially when they were getting towards the bottom they were getting thick they were getting goopy they were getting difficult to dry you know sometimes the, the manicures worked out and sometimes it didn't and it's okay you can remove it the next day it's not a big deal but you get to have fun you get to experiment with new things and you come up with really cool cool pairings sometimes so recently I did a gradient with this one Showtime from Revlon which I should have pulled all my project polishes to share with you um, and it I paired that the this one uh, let's see I paired this one this one and this one together which gave me a super cool dual chrome look without it being a dual chrome polish that leads me on to the next <clears throat> kind of piggybacking on that is using other polishes from your collection give yourself a break during the week maybe you know if you paint your nails on a daily basis or if you paint your nails three four times a day pull in a polish from your collection that's not in your project to give you kind of a little bit of a breather because using a, the same polishes over and over again can get a little redundant it can get a little bit boring so pulling something new maybe it's something new that you just recently bought or an old favorite that you haven't used in a really long time will kind of restart you again and then you're ready to use the ones that you have in your project next is having a variety of color and with that comes the nail wheel uh, so a nail wheel helps you out because it helps you see what you're going to be working on in the next several months with that being said also try not to pick out a ton of polishes at a time i think having a handful of polishes is really helpful because it's 
it's different working on five to six, seven polishes. Um, you'll get more productivity on your polishes than you focusing on 12. 12 can be a little overwhelming. It's a lot of polishes. Your progress is going to go a lot slower. So it'll be difficult for you to not only to, to make progress, but to finish polishes off. Um, if that's the way that you want to do it and that's what works for you, of course, go ahead and do it. For me, what worked is picking a handful of polishes at a time and every three months or every time that I finish a polish, I'll substitute it with something different. So this is the wheel that I have going on right now. This is my wheel from last year. A lot of them have broke off, of course, but mine kind of went through seasons. I'm a seasonal polish wear and that's what helped me select polishes in the next season or what have you so right now I have two that are super super dark you know for the fall and winter is when I select it same thing with this one but it's on the brighter side this is a more berry tone a little bit on the darker side but not quite as dark as these two and then these two right here that are on a more softer side so when I need to give myself a break from the dark shades I have something to pick from in this last uh, month I actually put in a nude so putting in a nude I think is something that I'm going to be doing moving forward just to give me a palette cleanser in between polishes because using a lot of color sometimes can also get a little bit boring sometimes maybe I don't want something so dark or something so bright track your progress so tracking your progress helps out a lot i have little lines going on here with every progress that i've done you can see hey i use it this month i didn't use it as much this month let me try to push myself to get a little bit lower in the next month or so so it's you see you visibly see the the polish is working moving itself down now i can see i don't have a ton and that's going to push me to use this polish more because i'm so excited now to be at the finish line let's see now just because you don't finish a polish till the last drop does not mean that you failed use up as much as you can of the polish if you feel like you've gotten your money's worth you've succeeded i feel like sometimes we can get a little anal on the polishes if we don't get the last drop we feel like we failed i don't see it that way if i'm struggling with my brush reaching the polish you know even when i'm tipping it over and stuff or maybe tipping it to the side I'm done. You know, I never did to the last drop or used up the last drop of a polish prior to doing project polish videos. Why am I going to do it now? Watching other people's project polish helps out a lot because you see them working through their polishes. That helps encourage you to keep going, um, keep pushing yourself <coughs> and continue working through your project. Cherish from, uh, I don't know her, her name, Stephanie from the Daisy Girlie, Joyful from Joyful Beauty, Polly from Polly Cosmetics. I know she was doing a project polish last year and I followed her progress. And um, Betsy from Make Up Your Mind, Beth from I Heart Coupons and Makeup. I will link everybody down below so that you guys can check them out. And then let me know who else is doing project polish as well. These are just a few people. If I can remember anybody else, I will go ahead. Oh, Beauty Notes also does. I love, I love every single one of her videos. I will also link her channel down below. She does project polish as well. What else? Um, don't feel like you have to compete with others. This project is personal. We all use polishes differently. So that kind of piggybacks in watching other people. I know it can be a little discouraging if you see somebody maybe flying through polishes and maybe you're not. You're struggling with yours. Everybody uses polishes differently. Just like every people go differently through blushes, foundation, powders, what have you you don't use those videos to discourage yourself if anything use them to encourage you to keep going forward to keep pushing yourself to use your polishes i watch everybody and i'm happy that everybody is working through their polishes even if you finished two or three that's three more polishes that are out of your stash that maybe you wouldn't have done prior to you know maybe you wouldn't have finished them prior to doing project polish think of it that way all right, um, let's see, have fun. If there is a polish that is not working for you, get it out. There is no time for that. A painting your nails is supposed to be fun. If, if you're not enjoying something, there is no need for you to force yourself to finish the polish off. Uh, prior to me doing project polish, if something didn't work for me, I got rid of it. And that's not going to change just because I'm recording my progress. You know, the polish is going on my nails, not everybody else's. And so I need to look, when I look at my nails, I want to know, I want to see that they look bomb. I want to be like, dude, my nails look pretty darn good today. 
I really like this polish. I'm really enjoying it. Don't feel like it just because you didn't get the last drop out of it that you didn't succeed or that you failed in any way. Get those words out of this project. Failure is not is not a word to be used here. Like I said before, if you've used it halfway and you're completely satisfied with that, you succeeded. You're done. You used it a lot more than you were using it prior to you putting it in this project. That already to me is a success. I've touched a lot of polishes in this project that I haven't touched in so long. I decluttered one of my old favorites that I loved, which was Naked Canvas from Orly. I thought I loved it. I, I hadn't used it in a long time. I even had a backup of it. I think I still have it. And then I found that I just, I love the color. I love the polish. I just did not have the time or the patience for the drying time. And for that reason, that was pushed out. Below deck from China Glaze was a a kind of brownish taupe and it did not look good on me so I gave it to somebody else and it looked super awesome on that person and that person is happy to have it now so you know if you're not liking it if you're not enjoying it just move it on out and bring in something else that you're gonna love and you're gonna be productive with it but at the same time you're gonna be enjoying it that's everything I think uh, I can't think of anything else. I'm excited to do Project Polish in 2018. I'm going to continue doing this as long as I can because I truly enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super helpful. And again, don't forget to leave me your tips down below if there's anything, anything else that you guys can think of. That would be awesome. That would help me out so much. Um, and I would be greatly appreciative because I, these are the ones that I can think of, but I don't know anything and everything about, you know, I don't know everything about uh, project polishing. Everybody has their ways and what works for them. So I'm definitely open to trying new things for myself. If it's going to be successful for me or if it's going to make my project su successful to my liking. So um, that's everything guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.